Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was previously filming a quiz um, which said name the Bible verses and we'll guess which biblical woman you are. And I was trying to pick the, you know, the correct where the Bible verse came from. And I realised that no matter what you pick, it ticks and says it's correct. Even though clearly they're not all correct because it had like the angel talking to Mary and it didn't happen in Psalms. Um, and I got all the way through it and it just basically said I am Sarah. Um, saying that I'm a family first kind of person. Um, she was selfless, all that kind of thing. And I'm, I'm just kind of like really... Considering the Bible verses, you didn't even make sure that they were correct. I'm not loving this quiz. Um, and it seems a little bit, you know, one size fits all kind of. It just gives you someone and you will probably relate to something that is in the description. So I'm going to try a new quiz because that is a fail. So what I'm going to do is actually go back to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to redo the quiz I did. I think it was a year ago, but I'm not sure. I'm just on my page right now and I'm gonna find the the quiz because I figured it might be fun yeah it was a year ago I thought it might be fun to just do it um again I'm pretty sure I linked it there we go I did link it let's hope it's still there okay so it's do you know the bible quiz and we're gonna do it one year later. Okay, begin the quiz. Okay, let's see. So it starts with, what is the oldest written book of the Bible? Job, Genesis, and Isaiah. Mm. Okay, I, I can't even remember this answer, but I'm pretty sure it's not Genesis. So I think it's either Job or Isaiah, and I'm gonna go Isaiah. I was wrong, it was Job. I should have gone with the instinct. Although Genesis is the first book in the Bible, they think Job is the oldest. <sighs> I should have got that. Okay. The New Testament was originally written in what language? Hebrew, Greek, or Latin? The New Testament was written in Greek. That one I got right. Okay. What is the only book of the Bible that does not contain the word God? Esther, Ruth, and Song of Solomon. I pretty convinced that it is Esther. Yeah, okay. It does not contain the word God. Next question. Who cut Samson's hair? I do remember this now. It is not Delilah, it is not Samson, it is the servant. Um, that one is really, really tricky, but we've had it on a quite a few quizzes in lockdown, and so I do remember the answer. Okay, where was Jesus born? Bethlehem, Samaria, or Nazareth? It was Bethlehem. What is the shortest book of the Bible? Titus, Philemon, or 2 John? This one gets me every time because 2 John is not that long. Titus and Philemon are not that long. I'm going to go 2 John. Yeah, I got it right this time. I'm pretty sure I said Titus in my last video, but I don't, I don't know. You'll have to see. Maybe I did. Okay, what's the next one? The oldest man on record, Methuselah, lived to be how old? 900, 969, or 826. I'm thinking he was 900. No, he was 969 years old. Wow, that's crazy. I can't ever imagine being that old. Okay, how many brothers did Jesus have? And it says six, two, and four, and I'm pretty sure he had, ooh, two brothers. Four, why did I, ah! Guys, we'll just hang our head in shame for a second. Okay, moving on. <laughs> How many books are in the Old Testament? 37, 31, 39. I'm pretty sure it's 39. And then there's 27 in the New Testament, if that makes 66. My maths is atrocious. Okay, which woman is mentioned most in scripture? Sarah, Rachel, or Mary? I think it's Mary because it comes up a lot. Oh, it's wrong. Sarah is mentioned 59 times and Rachel is second at 47. And I think I got tripped up on this question last time. So this is one I need to remember for the future because this is a tricky question. Okay, what's the next one? 
Samson used a donkey's jawbone to kill how many men? A thousand, a hundred, or five hundred? Pretty sure it was a thousand. Yay! Okay, finally back on track. Hopefully, I'll keep a counter up here and then we'll compare if I did any better to last time. Who was the first Christian martyr? Peter, Abel, or Stephen? It was Stephen. The phrase, God never gives you more than you can handle, shows up where in scripture? It says nowhere, Psalms and Proverbs. I'm pretty sure it's nowhere <laughs> because it's a paraphrase on um, a similar verse, which is saying is here in 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Okay, there were two men who never died in the Bible. Elijah was one, who was the other? Isaiah, Moses and Enoch, and it is Enoch. I do remember that, my spawn of my mom. My mom talks about that a lot. <laughs> um, so I do remember that. Um, how many times does the phrase fear not or do not fear show up in the Bible? 127, 365 or 96? I'm pretty sure this question, it says it's 365, but it's not necessarily accurate when we researched it in the last video. Yeah, it says variations of the phrase appear 365 times, but I'm not sure it was 100% accurate, but it's a nice sentiment anyway. I don't know how many is left. Okay, how old was Jesus when the three wise men visited him? Newborn, two years or one year? We estimate it's about two years old, because we think he's a toddler by the time they get there. I do know that. Um, what is the last word in the Bible? Christ, Jesus, or Amen? I'm pretty sure it's Amen. Okay, there's some more questions. I feel like we're already at the end, but we're not. Um, how many books are there in the Bible? 66, 71, 73, 66. Um, God gave manna to the Israelites while they were in the desert. What does manna mean? Angel bread, what is it? And God provides. I'm pretty sure it means what is it? Yes, it is. What is it? Um, because that's what they asked about the bread. I do remember that because it's quite funny. Um, Manasseh was the longest reigning king in the Bible. How long did he reign? 40, 25, or 55 years? I think it was 40. Wrong, 55. Ta ta ta, I read two kings not that long ago. Okay, we are finished, and this time we got 15 out of 20. So that was not too bad, but I want to compare it to last time. So let me go back onto my old video and see. How much did I get um, at the end? Because I don't remember. Okay guys, so I just went on my old video and I got eight out of 20 last time and this time I got 15 out of 20. So that's a solid improvement. Um, that was nearly double my score from last time. So that's awesome. It just goes to show that dedicating yourself to reading the Bible and studying scriptures definitely does help you to remember more and probably doing more quizzes um but you know what there's no wrong way to be studying and learning more and retaining more so um i'm totally for it i actually just found this game in our house um with like bible verses and there's some pictures and then i think the idea is that you try and remember what the verse is based on the picture i kind of just want to play it it looks like a little kid's game but i want to play it because i want to actually get to know verses so much better and be able to recall them but that's just really cool that in a year's time my knowledge has increased almost by double just because I put in dedicated effort so super fun if you were on there last time so I can see some people's comments of what you got last time go ahead and do the quiz again with me this time and let me know what your score was this time was it better than last video let me know okay I will see you guys in another video soon stay blessed stay well and I'll see you soon bye